red and yellow bell pepper cream soup. The soup is very colorful and very elegant. The flavor will be very delicate. Now, I have to tell you, we are not going to make one soup, but two. One for the yellow bell pepper and one for the red one. We are going to keep at all time both soups separately and when we will be plating, we mean to place each soup side by side in the soup bowl. Wow! Yes, the soup is very elegant, like I just said, and in my Valentine's menu, I call it red and yellow bell pepper cream soup affair. To make both soups, you will need for each soup butter, onion, bell peppers, cream, chicken stock, you may use vegetable stock, salt and white pepper. So, let's cook the soups. I'm heating both pot on medium heat and I'm going to add the butter in each pot and we're going to, we are going to let it melt slowly. Meanwhile, we are going to cut the onions. To slice the onions, it doesn't have to be super precise. We are going to remove the core of each half. And we're going to discard that. Cut the onion finely. So the soup will be processed and um, it will be very thin, so the onion don't have to be uh, super small. It doesn't really matter. The thing is, they have to be just regular. So let's put that in one bowl. There we go. So I'm going to cut that up. Add the onions into each part. and let it cook slowly on medium low. So I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit to mid, between medium and low for medium low. Meanwhile, we are going to prepare the bell pepper. Did you know that bell peppers have 22 calories per 100 grams and they are very rich in vitamin C? Furthermore, they are not vegetables, they are fruits. Hmm, interesting. Today, we will uh, add a few calories because we're going to be making them in a soup with cream, but uh, otherwise they are a very nutritional source. So here I'm removing all the seeds. So just break it up. Just going to remove the, the white membranes also and what i like to do is to tap the bell peppers in order to have the seeds going down and here it's a little bit brown so just pick it up okay just like so perfect good of course i have washed my bell peppers before starting the soup same thing here just break it up great so now we are going to dice them up. So just remove that. So we don't use the seeds because the seeds will make the soup spicy and bitter. So you can see the, the butter sizzling, cooking slowly 
and gently the onions without coloring the food. The onions are getting more pungent and they release their aroma and flavor. Mm. It's wonderful, it smells very good. So now let's add the bell peppers. So red here, yellow there. Give it a little stir. Great. We're going to go to the yellow one now. It's time for cream. One cup of cream on the top. And the cream here. Then the chicken stock, so just enough to cover, perfect, good, and we're going to stir again, a little bit more, Let's add the seasoning, Salt, white pepper, white pepper is strong, Oof. let's put both soup on high to bring the temperature rapidly to a boil and then when it will be boiling we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So the soup is boiling here, we are going to turn it down, great, and we are going to let it simmer. So the soup has uh, been simmering for about 20 minutes, both of them, great. So now it's time for us to check if the papers are cooked or not. They should be very soft. Okay, it's still a little bit firm. There's a little bit of resistance when I enter the knife. Okay, so let's take another one. Yeah, to confirm, that's right. And I guess it will be the same thing on, in the, on the red soup. Yeah. So we're going to wait another four or five minutes and then it will be done and we will be able to process the soup in the blender. Okay, the bell peppers are cooked, they are totally soft. It's time for us to process the soup. So I'm going to start with the yellow soup, thus we won't have to clean or wash the blender again because after that we will do the red soup. So transfer everything there, great. So now the soup is in the blender, it's full by about half. So let's blend the soup. I put, I put a rag on the top to protect myself and you stand on the lowest speed. And then you may increase the speed. Make sure you don't see any more bits of papers of onions going by. That would be a good indication to tell you that the soup is very smooth. You see? Turn it off. Now we are going to taste it. So. I can tell the soup is very smooth. Mm. Nice. A little bit of salt, just to taste, and a little bit more white paper. Process again. Okay, great. 
So let's put that in a jug. Ooh, very hot. And let's do the red bell pepper soup now. Again, protect yourself. Start on the lowest speed Oops. and keep your hand on. Huh? Because when it starts, it push the lid off, you know. I'm now going to show you how to play the soup. It's not super easy, but you're going to understand. So the idea is to pour both soup at the same time in the plate side by side okay so that would be like if it was two plates here we're going to have the yellow here we're going to have the red so we need to pour the soup at the same speed about at the same level okay but not on the top of each other because if we do that they will get then get mixed okay we don't want to mix them we want to have them separately side by side Great. Clean your plate on the side a little bit if you have few drops. Perfect. And with a skewer, I like to use the thick part of the skewer. Just mix it up. Awesome. It's that easy. A beautiful, elegant red and yellow bell pepper cream soup affair.